morning. Got some uh, 80 foot sticks of rail here this morning. We're uh, moving them from over there where we welded them. And uh, bringing them over here, we're gonna set the, got some rail carts and uh, set them on and we'll take them down to where we're, uh, see how flexible that rail is. It's incredible how that rail flexes, how much it will go. This is pretty neat to watch uh, two of these trucks working in tandem. It was, uh, didn't know this second apprentice uh, loader truck was going to come. We call them boom trucks too, grapple trucks, whatever. But uh, I was uh, going to have to uh, help them out with my boom truck this morning, but I got up here and they had, uh, had two of these trucks here, so I can sit back and watch. Rainy morning here at Cumberland Mine Railroad. But still got to get the work done. So we got uh, curve uh, 47 down here. Took, uh, made a video on the crushed head and the flowed rail there the other day. Uh, showed you that. This is the rail we're going to put in to replace those uh, <coughs> that bad piece. Uh, uh, on that curve. Uh-oh, we rolled one over. They're kind of a, a pain to get rolled back. They can do it, but... That uh, guy up there running that uh, truck, boom truck, his name's Lucky. And that was actually his... Uh, Birth name, Lucky. The guy running this boom truck over here is Richard. He's uh, he's out here. He's 67 years old. Been railroading all his life. That's all he knows. But he's a uh, as railroading gets in your blood, you can't get it out. <laughs> They got one more weld to make down here. Uh, instead of raining here, they don't weld in the rain, but uh, they went to uh, get a tent. So we'll set up a tent on here and make that other thermite weld this morning. And Yeah. 